What's up? It's your boy King Crowder checking in here to give you my personal take and a simplified version of the Ukraine versus Russia situation. Just to break it down for you, the Ukraine and Russia situation is based off a situation that Russia used to only formerly have Ukraine inside its country. Ukraine and Russia had a split when the Soviet Union collapsed in 19, 1989. A little world history fact on that. The reason why this is such an important topic is I want you to know that the Ukraine has a very self-sustaining economy, number one. Number two, Ukraine exports a tremendous amount of natural gas and resources which go to the EU and the European countries. Why is it such a big deal? Russia economically does struggle. Russia, Putin decided to do a stronghold to get some of those resources back into the country. I don't want to use a Zach comparison, but think about it versus Civil War versus us. When the U.S. wanted to go into a capitalist, illicit society, one thing they had to struggle with with the southern countries and southern part of the United States was that the southern part of the United States still wanted to keep slavery because that was its main natural resource. The enslaved individuals at that time provided so much economic benefit to the southern part of the United States that they succeeded from the northern part of the United States. With that secession, the North had to do a battle to let the South know, no, we need to reclaim our territory and get in this part of the United, in the southern part of the United States back with the northern part of the United States to formally have an agreement in a unit. Russia is doing something similar 30 years apart. Now, I agree. It sounds crazy that Russia is attacking and doing these type of things. But this is literally a civil war battle because Russia sees so much economic benefit out of the Ukraine. Politically, why it's such a controversial issue? Because the Ukraine flirted with us while being an ally, but not really involved in NATO. The Ukraine had tendencies to say, hey, we want to be a part of NATO. We we affiliated with y'all, but we ain't in the game to oversimplify it. So the Ukraine had that ideology and that way of thinking. So when the Ukraine flirted and saying with that, that put powers on NATO, which is a part of Green Party form, the normal one, one to symbolize that, man, hey, maybe we should take care of the Ukraine. Maybe we should defend them. Now, we're not trying to go into a hot battle where we're sending active troops to defend Russia from going after the Ukraine, which would be boots on the ground. But we're sending muscles and aid and weaponry. That's what we're doing right now. So that's an oversimplified version of the issue. But I want you to remember what Fred Hampton said and quoted. Politics is about war without the violence. Right now, Russia is trying to reclaim its southern part, which was formerly part of the USSR. The Ukraine is so financially sufficient and economically self-sufficient. That is the main benefit of it. And that is why Russia sees this battle ruin. Thanks for checking in. King Crowder. I'm checking out.